Now it's time to add the lights onto the frame. Uh, I cut off a, a string of uh, 224 uh, seed pixels and what I did was I marked them every 14 pixels so that I can uh, keep track of if I'm in the correct place along the string. So we're going to take the uh, inner rim that we made earlier, put it in there, and I'm going to use uh, just a regular clothespin. These are good clamps because the spring isn't very strong. So I'm going to clamp that to the first position here. I like to start on the outside because it's just easier to pull the loops in. And then I'm just going to pull the loop in towards the middle. And if the, if the string is twisted, I untwist it as I go along. And then I'm just going to slip it in the first cut and back out the second cut, just like that. And then back out at the outside, then we pull the next loop in towards the middle. Again, untwisting as needed. And then slip it in the next cut and slip it back, slip it in the next cut after that. And then the next loop. So basically you're just going to be pulling loops in towards the middle and hooking them onto the uh, retaining ring in the middle. And that's all there is to stringing this thing. I mean there's a few touch-up steps afterwards, like um, evening out the spokes and tightening and stuff like that. But that's basically the process. And then I just go around the whole frame doing it one spoke at a time. So this seems easier than pushing bullet pixels. Um, it, I mean, it's a little time consuming, but it's actually pretty easy work. It's not like your fingers are gonna get tired doing this. And plus it doesn't need any special tools. I'll probably put this on fast forward just to skip through because the rest of this process is pretty repetitive until near the end. I guess technically you don't have to untwist the string. I like to keep it untwisted uh, just so that the lights are sort of in the same direction on each branch but it's not really that necessary I guess the other th thing I do sometimes is uh, if the lights are being tangly I kind of stretch them out and loop them around these up pointing posts and then that just helps uh, prevent it from getting tangled up. So I can untwist it out here and then just kind of hook it around so that it doesn't get twisted again. Okay, we're halfway done already. twist here I need to straighten out. There we go. And if the st string is kind of bent I kind of pinch it to 
straighten it out a little bit. So for example, on this one, I put marks where the middle of each um, segment would go just to help align it more easily. And then I just, again, I use the uh, clothespin to kind of hold the other end. So I just basically just kind of hook them together here until I get them soldered. So that's basically it. So the center ring holds the lights in place. And they're a little bit loose, so I'm going to tighten them up and adjust them. Actually, these ones are not too bad, but some of them are a little sloppy. And, and some of them are not quite centered, so like I'll kind of adjust them a little bit to get them somewhat centered. So that's basically it for stringing the lights on. Then the remaining step would be to uh, connect the power and data lead on here, and that's about it. Some of the um, spokes are a little loose here, a little sloppy, I guess, due to slight variations in the spacing and also probably because this ring isn't exactly the right size. It's probably a little too large. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, just a scrap piece of wire and thread it under the loops uh, inside this ring and then uh, pull them a little bit to tighten it and then that will take up the slack in these uh, some of these loops. Now with the wire threaded around there, I can just tighten it a little bit. Yeah, I think that, that seems to work. Let's see, it's just, just slightly pulled. Some places more than others, but that that tightened up the loops quite well. I mean, they're there's not they're not real tight, but they're not they're not sloppy either. So I think that worked out. And then that still keeps this inner area open, except for the piece of frame in the back. <laughs>